Disc brakes, they are a hot topic in the cycling media at the moment and also amongst professional cycling teams because the UCI, the governing body for cycling, has finally given clearance for teams to use them and trial them in various races in the latter part of the 2015 season. Now, we've ridden them and we've given you our opinion on them, but more importantly than us, what are the opinions of pro riders and also mechanics who are going to have to service them and also change the wheels with punctures during the race? Yeah, it's a tough one. There's been a bit of discussion about it and obviously safety is a big issue um, I think we need to trial them and I think um, the sport needs to support um, evolution and, and, and we've seen it with a lot of other things in cycling I guess for me the problem the limiter is not is not the brakes at the moment it's actually the tires and so if you have really strong brakes and it's in the rain or something like that I can see these guys just locking up and then sliding out there are some things that we need to to improve like the weight and, and some small details they can avoid you in when you have a crash or something I mean to have a half distance is a lot eh? for the road I'm not sure about uh, the benefits I mean uh, sure the, the brakes are much better if you crash and you pile up with like 30 guys I think there are gonna be some yeah, tough injuries because of the disc. For the moment I think uh, they're testing it and I think uh, if all the group all the peloton uh, right with the disc uh, would not be a problem, but uh, has to be the whole bunch. Your opinion on disc brakes in the pro peloton, good or bad? Bad. They look, they look disgusting. They look like they don't belong. Irritated. He was riding them the other day. I was like, what is this? A mountain bike race? It just looked, just didn't look right. I mean, sometimes they look cool. Uh, I actually don't think they look that bad. What does it mean for you as a mechanic? These coming in potentially over the next couple of years. Is it going to be a lot more time consuming? Uh, that'll be a good question. Depends on, you know, what Shimano comes out with as far as what they're going to have for a rotor. You have to have all or nothing, and I think uh, if you don't have that, you're going to have some issues during the race. You know, they, I think disc brakes will have an added benefit, uh, especially on heat dispersion. Uh, and then another benefit I think would be the riders would most likely have more control on, on the, the wet, you know, uh, rainy days. One of the, the issues could be fast, obviously a slower wheel change, yeah. but we, but, you know, the guy, the engineers are working on that now to see how we can overcome that. You know, disc brakes have been around for a very long time. It's not something new. It's just new on a road bike. That's all. Um, it's just something to get used to. What does it mean for you as a mechanic, first and foremost? Uh, definitely means uh, more work. Yeah. <laughs> That's the main concern. For sure. For sure. Uh, hopefully it, it only takes more time that when you have to mount it yeah. and uh, that the quality is good enough that you don't need to touch it too much. That should be like a time-saving thing. But when you need to mount it then, or if you need to repair it, then yeah. it will be more time consuming. Yeah. So there you go, some varying opinions from pro riders and mechanics about the use of disc brakes in the peloton. But as some of them said, they haven't had first-hand experience yet themselves of using them away from using them on their mountain bikes. One thing is for sure, though, manufacturers certainly want to push them. They see them as the way forward, not just off-road, but also on road bikes as well. And since the pro peloton is normally the hotbed for these manufacturers to develop their products, there's no doubt we're going to see more and more of them as the years roll forward. Anyway, if you'd like to see myself and Si putting disc brakes versus rim brakes to the test, you can find that video by clicking just up there. On the other hand, if you'd like something far more light-hearted, you can see Matt Stevens measuring riders' guns at the welter by clicking just down there. There. And if you would like to subscribe to GCN, all you've got to do is click on my guns. I'm going to change hands, I think my right one is slightly bigger. Ready? It's about to be tensed. <laughs>